to talk with you about anything that is important to you we'll talk about law of attraction all day today mostly we're going to talk about this vortex we're going to talk about this vibrational reality where everything that you've become and all cooperative components to all of that have already been assembled and we're going to convince you or do our best to do so that this now reality that you hold so much stock in is really barking up the wrong tree we want to convince you that if you will look forward if you will feel forward the thing that makes that a little bit of a hard sell for our physical human friends is that when you are deciphering your physical world you use your eyes and your ears and your nose and your fingertips and your tongue in other words you smell it you see it you hear it you you feel it you you devour it with all of your physical senses it's tactile and it's real and you agree upon so much of what you're experiencing we know it's vivid and it's enticing and it's delicious and you came to experience all of that and when we talk about the vibrational reality you can't see in there you can't hear in there in other words you 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 can only feel in there sometimes you leave this gathering and your friends say how was it and you say it was great they say was it worth the drive was it worth the flight was it worth the price what what went on there and then you say well I have to admit it was a little odd <laughs> there's this man who calls his wife Abraham <laughs> it starts there and she stands on the stage and points at some invisible place and and insists that it's the vortex and that everything we want is in it and I looked I didn't see I didn't see I didn't see but when you accept this vibrational reality and you show yourself the realness of it by feeling yourself into it and you you let the feeling of love call you you let the feeling of clarity call you you care about how you feel you care about how you feel so much that you contour your thinking to the thoughts that feel the best until you begin to chronically offer thoughts that feel good to you then what happens is from inside this vortex things begin to occur to you you get inspiration ideas occur to you that when you act on manifest into wonderful things all things manifest but they're in the vortex in a place that you can't hear them or smell them or see them or taste them or touch them first you see and so that's really the hurdle that we have to accomplish with most of our physical friends we have to convince you that if you will consistently feel your way into alignment that then you will become one of the chronic cooperative components to your own desires and when you are consistently a cooperative component when you're on the same wavelength of your own desires those desires must manifest into your experience but here's the tripping point for so many of you if you say all right I'll play your silly game I'll accept the reality of whatever that is that you're pointing at and I'll I'll feel my way I'll reach for thoughts that feel better I'll tune myself vibrationally to the source within me I will line up vibrationally because then the things I want will manifest into my reality now you've tripped yourself up again because what you're saying is I have this thing that isn't that I want and I'm willing to do this stuff in order to get this thing that isn't as long as your attention is upon this thing that isn't you can't get into the vortex and unless you get into the vortex and are in alignment with the vibrational aspect of it it cannot become a vibrational reality so that's why we want to convince you go for the love go for the clarity go for the fun go for the good feeling Jerry and Esther have a magnificent home now in Del Mar California it is so beautiful and another one in Texas and they are not in either place very much they are mostly somewhere else but they take endless hours of pleasure pondering and musing about those beautiful places their friend Eric who has been instrumental in bringing all of these properties into final fruition gathering the plants and doing the hardscape of the landscape and so forth he will call them and he will say just wanted to give you an update and Jerry Nestor will pull off to the side of the road 
so that they can savor his 10 or 15 minute description of what's going on and his description is more about not more than about the final outcome he talks about how happy all of these his his men are who are working on the project he talks about how well they are working together and how creatively inspired they are and how the ideas keep exploding and how Jerry and Esther are just going to be knocked over when they see the culmination of what they've come up with he talked about the man on the big earth mover who created some berms in Texas that are awesome by Eric's words and then he talked about the men that put the sprinkling systems on it and the men that gathered the perfect plants and then he talked about the overall feel the way it unfolds as you drive into the property and as Jerry and Esther not being there haven't been and won't be for quite some time as they listen they go right into the vortex they don't need the reality now you see some are thinking well but they have this property they own it they possess it and we say they're not even there they're not walking the grounds they're not sniffing the roses they're not swimming in the saltwater pool they are off on the shoulder of the road again <laughs> they are experiencing something very different than that but they are able to focus their mind in a way where they feel the joy of this contractor where they feel the joy and appreciation of the men doing the work where they feel the fun of the collaboration where they feel the fullness of the creative juices flowing in other words and we got to tell you everything you want is for those feelings you see so if we can convince you because they are convinced they know they don't need to have that house they are leaving the monster bus for someone else to purchase because they have moved into a new era of their experience where they're moving faster with more ease and as they drove away from the monster bus knowing that they've had their last drive with it they didn't feel sadness they felt eagerness and Esther said to Jerry you know what's really interesting about this I can think about that magnificent monster bus in the way I think about the house in Del Mar or the way I think about the house in Texas in other words it's the experience of it it's the joy of it it's the feeling of it I don't have to be playing a game with grandchildren I can remember playing the game with the grandchildren I can imagine what they're doing I can look forward into their future I can remember into their past in other words what we're wanting you to do is become the vibrational merging being that you are because you are eternal you are eternal thinkers you are eternal beers not havers not doers you are eternal vibrational beings and everything you feel is about that vibrational beingness that vibrational aligning that a vibrational alignment with who you are so once you feel this fully then of course things are going to manifest we don't want you to misunderstand us in one small way we are not talking to you like this because we think you should get on the road and leave your grandchildren in your homes we're not talking to you like this because we want you to stop manifesting things because there is enormous pleasure in manifestation we're talking to you like this because you are giving up so much pleasure as you depend on manifestations to give it to you and the reason that we know that have you ever really really wanted something and achieved it and then is sort of flat is because it was never where it was at it's always what you're reaching for Esther will say to Jerry oh that's a beautiful new car you should buy that for me it would make me happy for the afternoon <laughs> and she's not kidding she's not kidding and there was the afternoon is about all the juice that's got in it you see because there's so much more pleasure to be had you are all day every day sifting through life when someone's rude you want them to be nicer when you've got a, a, a biological problem on your planet you want improvement when when you are stiff and sore in your body you want to be limber and good feeling when you feel bound up you want to be free when you are confused you want to have clarity when you don't have enough money you want more money all day every day you're sifting and sorting and becoming and becoming becoming and 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 the larger part of you has become it and is holding a steady vibrational beam for you 
and you can tell whether you're up to speed with it or not and it has nothing to do with you not having that relationship you think you want or not having that car you think you want or that whatever it is your negative emotion is not about the absence of the manifestation it's about the absence in the moment of the alignment with the expanded version of you you must keep up with you if you are to be the joyful being and by keeping up with you we mean keep up to speed vibrationally not with your stuff we are pretty sure that someday we will hold a seminar and there will be hundreds of thousands of people online listening and the subject will be demanifestation of all this stuff <laughs> because the more you gather and try to make important and hold unto you the less free you feel you see because your joy is in alignment with the fullness of that which you have become not alignment with the stuff that you use in order to exaggerate your effectiveness or your power again don't misunderstand we want you to have all that stuff we want your body to feel good and look good we want your manifestations to be beautiful and please you but we want you to know the manifestations will never be enough to please you and even the manifestations that you gather will never be enough because that's looking for love in all the wrong places what you're looking for is alignment with the new idea you just hatched that's what you're looking for alignment with the new idea you just hatched nothing is more exhilarating than coming into alignment with that new idea the other morning Jerry woke up early he usually gets up before Esther does and usually has a pretty good vibrational momentum going before her feet even hit the floor and this morning was no different he was all excited could hardly wait for her to get up wanted to talk to her about something that he had been pondering and been poking around at something in the night some improvements relative to some things with this work the business part of it and so he'd been poking around and when Esther came out into the room where he was ideas just started barreling into her head it was like she rendezvoused with a whole big download of inspiration and Jerry said I'm so glad you're up I want to talk to you and Esther said before you do I think I have a lot to say <laughs> it's like Abraham wants to tell you all this stuff so Jerry said I'm eager to hear and Esther sat down and relaxed and and asked us what was on our mind and we explained to her that it wasn't that we had all this stuff we wanted to say it was as Jerry had been poking around at this problem not really a problem but a subject but like a problem or a question as he'd spent about two hours poking around at it anytime you're poking around at a question or a problem and as that question or problem is coming into focus the solution is coming into equivalent focus so Jerry had really brought it into focus he was all queued up all full of questions and things that he'd been contemplating and Esther woke up in the vortex they are joined at the hip anyway and as she walked into the room she received a full because she was a cooperative component to all of the solutions that Jerry had stirred up are you getting what we're talking about in other words we want you to feel the magnificence of of the question which brings the answer we're going to have a brilliant conversation here today because you have brilliant questions you get what we're talking about so we explained to Esther Esther you were the cooperative component to the solutions that Jerry was seeking now Jerry could not be a cooperative component to the solutions he was seeking because Jerry was so busy being a cooperative component to the questions and the problems you see what we're getting at that's where his vibration was but isn't that important to this isn't that all part of the process that's the thing that we want you to understand we want you to devour the contrast that you are living we want you to feel as proud of your question or as your problem as you feel when the solution is revealed to you and you get it because it's all part of the expanding process we just want to point out to you one small thing and that is so many of our human friends have made a career out of the problem you make a career out of being out of the vortex we want to summon you into the vortex where the solutions can occur